today topic is boiling point diagram in distillation boiling point diagram is used to show how the equilibrium vapor phase composition y and the liquid phase composition x change with temperature it is also called as constant pressure vapor liquid equilibrium diagram that is vle now consider binary mixture of benzene and toluene where benzene is more volatile component and toluene is less volatile component now in boiling point diagram of benzene and toluene mixture the composition of the mixture is plotted on x axis in terms of mole fraction of more volatile component benzene in the liquid phase x and in the vapor phase y and temperature of the mixture plotted on y axis now in diagram upper curve provides temperature versus vapor composition that is t versus y relationship and the lower curve provides temperature versus liquid composition that is t versus x relationship such that the intersection of the double surface with constant pressure produces a looped curved without maxima or minima extending from the boiling point of pure benzene to that of pure toluene now suppose mixture presented by point a contains 15 mole percent of benzene and is at temperature of t1 degree 0 celsius now if we heat to the mixture represented by point a then it will start boiling at temperature t2 degree celsius due to boiling the vapor rising from mixture contain more of more volatile component hence the first quantity of the vapor issuing from the binary mixture b will have composition indicated by point c this vapor contain 91 mole percent of benzene at temperature t2 degree celsius hence at this point we get mixture which contain 91 mole percent benzene which is considerable more than original mixture which contain 15 mole percent benzene now the vapor at c is in equilibrium with the liquid at point b hence line bc is known as tie line now if we remove portion of vapors represented by point c and condense it completely in a condenser then we will get liquid represented by point d which contain 91 mole percent of benzene now if we reheat this portion of liquid represented by point d it will boil at temperature t3 degree celsius at point e hence the first vapor arising from the liquid represented by point e will contain more of more volatile component of composition represented by point f and if we condense this vapor represented by point f we get liquid which contain 100 mole percent of benzene in this way we can get liquid containing almost 100 mole percent of benzene now if we further heat the liquid represented by point b the boiling point of liquid increases from t2 degree celsius to the temperature t dash degree celsius this happens due to majority of the more volatile component removed by vaporization at this temperature we get the liquid phase composition represented by point l and vapor phase composition represented by point n and if we further heat the liquid from temperature t dash degree celsius 
to the temperature T double dash degree Celsius. Then, all the liquid get vaporized to give vapor represented by point H. So up till now, we see what happened if we heat liquid in the distillation column to get more of the more volatile component. Now alternatively, consider a mixture of vapors represented by point Q. When we cool down liquid represented by point Q up to temperature T double dash degree Celsius. Then, the condensation will start at point H. The first drop of liquid formed will have composition represented by point K. During this condensation, the less volatile component will tend to condense first. If we further cool the vapors to T dash degree Celsius, we will get liquid represented by the point I and vapor represented by point N. Hence we can say that the vapor is rich in a more volatile component than the liquid. Hence we see that in the process of boiling, the mixture boil over a temperature range from point B to point K. That is, from bubble point temperature T2 degree Celsius to the dew point temperature. T double dash degree Celsius. Now, the liquid represented by any point on the lower curve is that it's the bubble point. Because, as we see that, the mixture will start boil at temperature represented by the lower curve. Hence, the lower curve is called as the saturated liquid curve or bubble point temperature curve. Similarly, the liquid represented by any point on the upper curve is that it's the dew point because as we see that the mixture will start condensed at temperature represented by the upper curve. Hence the upper curve is called as the saturated vapor curve or dew point temperature curve. So in boiling point diagram, the looped curve between bubble point curve and the dew point curve obtained at a specific constant total pressure. But if total pressure of the system increase say from PT1 to PT2 then the spread between bubble point curve and the dew point curve decreases hence due to this the separability by distillation become less at high pressure. So that's all about boiling point diagram. If you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe my channel.